Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's great again to be back in the Sunday class school. Amen. And we know that God's word has been prevailing in your life. Amen. And as it has been prevailing in your lives, we thank God for the testimonies. Mm -hmm. We thank for the impact Amen. that is having. And again, please share this with someone. Yes. Don't let it stay with you only. Share with someone. Subscribe. And to the glory of God, you are part of the blessings that God is using to make this end time impact all over the world in Jesus name. Amen. So we thank you for being there. Thank you. Today we shall be discussing what the Holy Spirit said we should share with you. Yes. And the topic is this, this is, is beyond, beyond you. you. Yes, you heard us. Yes. This is beyond you. Yes. That is what God Amen. is yeah. doing. Yes. What God is about to do. And possibly what God has started with you, you may not know. It's beyond you. Amen. Come with us. Let me read the text and then we go into the Sunday class school. Amen. The text is from 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 12. And, and so David realized that the Lord had established him as king of Israel and was making his kingdom prosperous for the sake of his people. So, my love, yes. David knew why he was made a king. Yes. David knew that it wasn't just an accident mm -mm. that he was made a king. Yes. There was a purpose. There was. It was beyond David. Yes. This is beyond you. Yes. Please follow us as we, you know, unravel what this is all about. Amen. 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 Blessings, 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 great people of God. Mm. The Lord God Almighty is here with you and with us today. Amen. And he will teach us mm. and uh, throw light, mm. yes, onto his word to us today. Amen. Amen. So this is beyond you, Amen. says the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. This year is an extraordinary year. Mm is a year that the mighty hand of the Lord will be revealed mm -hmm. as he has shown to us. Amen. And he's letting us know that it's not for us to keep mm -hmm. everything that he's going to show, mm -hmm. uh, manifest or give to us this year to ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's beyond you. Mm -hmm. It's an a assignment mm -hmm. that is meant for a people. Mm -hmm. It's a, a, a release mm -hmm. that is to bless people beyond you. Mm. Amen. Amen. And we want to look into the scriptures for better understanding of this. Like you read, my Lord, mm. in 2 Samuel 5, 12, mm. David knew, mm. he knew God had established him Amen. and also made his kingdom prosperous, mm. not for just him, mm. David, mm -hmm. not because he was David, the man after God's own heart, mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. but because God always has an assignment, mm -hmm. God always has a plan, mm -hmm. God always has a larger purpose, mm -hmm. God always has a people in mind, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. because of the sake mm -hmm. of his people. Amen. This was why David was made king. Mm -hmm. This was why David's kingdom was made prosperous, mm -hmm. because of the people of God Amen. that David, David was ruling over. Mm -hmm. We also see in 1 Kings 5, 7, mm. Hiram, who was the king of Tyre, mm. who was a friend of David, mm. Solomon's father. Mm. He had Solomon's message mm. because Solomon had sent a message to mm. him about building the temple of God mm. in partnership. Mm. And this was his, his reaction. Mm. The scripture says he was greatly pleased. Mm. And he said, praise be to the Lord today. Mm. For he has given David a wise son to rule over this great nation. So he knew that God making Solomon the king of Israel was not just about Solomon. Just as he knew David his father. He said the son was wise because the son also knew that this calling was not just for him but was for the great nation. Amen. 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 So what is it that the Lord is doing in your life presently? Mm. 
or what he is about to do, even at a greater measure in your life, what's that for? Is it just to upgrade your status or there is a greater assignment? Amen. Amen. In Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, the B part, we see where Moses was telling the children of Israel according to the leading of the Spirit of the Lord that they should choose life. He said, blessing and cursing have been placed before you, but this day I urge you to choose life. Mm -hmm. He gave the reason. He said that both you and your seed. So you choosing life today, mm -hmm. you choosing to walk the path of righteousness today, you choosing to obey God today, you choosing to live right today is not just for your sake, it is for your seed also. That your seed, your sons, your daughter may have the room open to them, may have the path of righteousness allowed for them to go through also that they may partake of the life of God. Amen. 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 So the choices we make, make room for our sons and daughters, make room for our seed. Amen. Amen. So we can also see this in uh, the life of Solomon, as we would see in 1 Kings 3, uh, verses 5 to 13, taking some excerpts. We know the story, how after Solomon was made king, he thought it fit to sacrifice unto the Lord. But the first thing that Solomon did was that Solomon gave of himself. You see, he gave of himself. But he gave of himself in obedience to walking in the ways of God according to the instructions of his father. Then he went ahead to give unto the Lord so many cattle, over a thousand cattle. He, he, he sacrificed unto the Lord. And when he did this great feat, the Lord said, what can I do for you? And in that passage, we know that even though the Lord had asked what he could do for him, Solomon was wise enough not to ask just for himself. You see, and this is the lesson, this is the knowledge that the Lord is unraveling to us today. That do not think just of yourself. When opportunities come, do not think of yourself only. He said it's beyond you. For you to get God's multiplier effects this year through his compounding grace, through his great measure of grace, yes. you choose things that are beyond you. Amen. Understand that the things that are before you are beyond you. Amen. And you will see that mighty effect, mm. that mighty uh, manifestation of God's wondrous hands yes. in your life. Amen. 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 So he chose and said, you know what? Give me wisdom, God that I may rule who these great people of yours. Hallelujah. Amen. See, God was said to have been pleased with Solomon. Mm. That Solomon did not just ask for himself. Mm. And you know what God did? God said, I will give you what you have asked for, which is wisdom, mm. discernment mm. to rule my people. Mm. And in doing that, God did it above what Solomon expected. In the fact that in giving him that discernment, he said, he said, what I will give to you uh, is more than what anybody has ever had. He said, nobody else has had this kind of wisdom that I will give to you and nobody after you will have this kind of wisdom. Amen. That was the the wisdom, the kind of wisdom that God gave to Solomon. Amen. But beyond that, uh, God went on to say, Moreover, I will give you what you have not asked for. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's our God for us. Amen. So he gave to him both wealth and honor. Amen. And reading down the passage, he also gave to him long life. Amen. So when we understand that the life that we are living is beyond us. It's not just about our comforts. It's not just about what we can use or what we cannot even finish using and we pass on to many generations after us. It's not about being greedy. 
it's about what is your agenda lord and how can i be a source of your multiplier effects to people around me amen, amen. Mm. so we know and we can see that david and solomon his son understood mm. what jesus was saying in matthew 6 33 mm. and that in the good news translation says instead be concerned about everything else with the kingdom of god jesus had told them said don't worry after the things that the gentiles also worry but be concerned about everything else with the kingdom of god with what he requires of you and he god will provide you with all these other things amen, amen. amen. that's what comes to us when we understand that the assignments the blessings the goodness the unravelings of god's multiply effects in our lives whether spiritually or physically yes. or materially it's beyond us amen. Amen. amen so yes also in jeremiah 23 verses 5 to 6 mm -hmm. we see that the prophecy was given by jeremiah of a righteous branch mm -hmm. of the descendant of david that will be given and that was talking about our lord jesus christ mm -hmm. so it says there it says i will raise unto david a righteous branch and a king shall reign and prosper and you know that this righteous branch, this king that will reign, even he, which was our Lord Jesus Christ, talking about our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. will not reign for himself only. Amen. He says there that in his day, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. Amen. Guess who are the Jesuses out there today? It's yourself and us, Amen. brethren. Amen. We are the ones that are out in the world today. Are we only looking out for ourselves? Are there pestilences going on and we only say, it shall not come near my dwelling? Mm -hmm. Do we have that compassion to say, it shall not come near my neighborhood? Amen. It shall not come near my city? Amen. It shall not come near my nation? Amen. Do we know that we have the power? Mm -hmm. That is the multiplier effect. Mm -hmm. Do we know that our feet have been placed mm -hmm. in an enlarged place? Mm -hmm. Do we know that the Lord has enlarged our capacity? Do we know that we are able to carry millions of people within the capacity that the Lord has given unto us? Amen. And so, it is beyond us. Mm. So let us speak with understanding, brethren. Mm. As this multiplier effect comes our way, mm. it is beyond us. Amen. Let us wow God himself, like Solomon wow God. Mm. And God will come again and say, what do you want? Amen. And because he knows you will never keep it to yourself. Mm. Amen. Amen. So, Zechariah chapter 3, verses 1 to 10, picking excerpts for it, we talked about this, but it's also relevant in this um, message today. It's about Joshua, the high priest. Amen. The high priest that refused to leave the presence of the angel, mm -hmm. even though he had filthy clothes on him. Mm -hmm. Because this man of God mm -hmm. knew he had an assignment. Amen. Because he knew that his life was beyond him. Mm -hmm. Are you beginning to want to pack up that ministry mm -hmm. because of your shortcomings that the enemies has been putting in your face mm -hmm. because of your convictions and because of the accusations of men mm -hmm. your assignment is beyond you Amen. simply stand before the lord mm -hmm. <laughs> and Amen. refuse to leave that place like joshua the high priest mm -hmm. knowing that is beyond you Amen. knowing that the lord will not give up on you because the Lord will not give up on purpose. Yes. The Lord will not give up on his assignment. Amen. The Lord will not give up on his mandate. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. And reading that passage shows us mm. that the Lord, because of the assignment, mm. rebuked Satan for the sake of Joshua. Amen. And not only that, when you see what the Lord said, he said, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem mm. rebuke you. Amen. So the Lord was looking at the assignment at the purpose, at the greater effect that the life, the mandate upon the life of Joshua was to bring yes. to his people and he stood by Joshua. Amen. Yes, yes, and rebuked Satan. And at, he later took off the filthy clothes like we know Amen. and commanded Joshua to continue to walk in the way of righteousness. And in talking to Joshua in that passage in uh, Zechariah chapter 3, he said to him, Listen, High Priest Joshua, you and your associates seated before you, who are men symbolic of things to come. Amen. Hallelujah. God was telling them that, look, you do not only 
belong to these times. Mm. You are relevant to this future. Amen. There are many that are looking at you mm. and many will read about you. Mm. So I cannot give up on you. Amen. And he said, this Joshua is like a burning stick that was taken out of the fire. Mm. <laughs> Ah, the way God thinks is different from the way we think. Amen. If it were men mm. or church members, mm. they find that you have mm. fallen mm. or you have done something wrong, mm. they would rather break that stick mm. that is burning in the fire mm. or push it further into the fire mm. to let it burn and be ruined. Mm. Or they, they, they remove the stick mm. and put it aside, mm. never to be used again. Amen. But that's not the God that we serve. Mm. He said this man... Mm was like a burning stick brought out of the fire, rescued him, continued to use him, brushed Amen. him up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We will not stamp and trample over our heroes Amen. even when they fall. Amen. We will find the grace of God in our hearts Amen. to do as the Lord will have us do, to do like he did to Joshua Amen. and restore Amen. and cause them to do finish their assignment. Amen. For he says that they are symbolic Amen. of things to come. Amen. 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 So he told them, commanded them, said, You will invite your neighbor mm. to sit mm. <clears throat> under your vine mm. and fig tree. Mm. So the assignment they had mm. <clears throat> was beyond them. Mm. Beyond them. Mm. We are also told of the lepers. Mm. So now we will go on <clears throat> to the example of the lepers. The lepers from Samaria that saw the great spoil and decided to not just eat, but they decided to return to the city to share the great news also. Mm -hmm. Remember we had shared earlier on in some past episodes that this year, the Lord is bringing a great Amen. harvest. Amen. Amen. He's not just going to give you seed. Mm. He didn't just give those lepers what they could eat. Mm. But he showed to them. He revealed to them. He brought into manifestation mm. to them things that was beyond what they could utilize for themselves. Mm. And they had that understanding to not just sit on it. Yeah they decided to go to the city to share. And that we can find in 2 Kings chapter 7, verses 8 to 9. Looking at the Amplified, he said they went into one tent and they ate and drank. And moving down the passage, he said they went back and entered another tent. So they were eating until that understanding came in on them. Amen. And the Lord will continue to increase your understanding face by face this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then they went back and entered into another tent. Then said one to another, we are not doing the right thing. This is a day of good news, yet we are keeping silent. If we wait until the morning light, some punishment, some punishment for not reporting this now will come on us. Now come, let us go and tell the king's household. So they took risks. As lepers, they were not supposed to come into town, but they were so courageous to not just come into town, but to go to the king's household Amen. to tell of the good news. Amen. That is what it means to understand that in this season, it's beyond you. God's mandate is beyond you. God's provisions are beyond you. God's understanding and revelation knowledge is beyond you. The question is, what are you doing with it? Amen. So, respect the assignment. Mm -hmm. Do not judge as unclean what the Lord has made clean. Amen. So, in Acts 10.10, 10, we mm -hmm. can see that Peter, we, we know the story, when all the animals in his vision were brought to him and said, Lord, I cannot eat what is unclean. And the Lord said, take it, mm -hmm. uh, because what I have called clean, do not call unclean. Amen. He said, do not hesitate when he got to know that some people were waiting for him to go with them to this gentile Cornelius's house, the Roman uh, centurion. Mm. And God said, don't hesitate. Go with them, you see. And Peter left with them. And we know what happened. Salvation came to the household. Mm. The spirit of the Lord was came into the household by baptism. Mm. And 
That's how the ripple effect continued in Amen. amongst the Gentiles. Amen. So when we understand that is beyond the tradition, the old knowledge, the old things that we have been taught, when God breaks through our understanding, when God brings a new thing to us, let us not cast it out. Let us respect that assignment. Let us respect that revelation. Let us respect that new thing that the Lord has brought to us to do it. Because when we do, we will see things that we have never seen before. Amen. And by such, we will be experiencing God's multiplier effect. So you want to see uncommon miracles, uncommon happenings, uncommon progress. You have to listen to what God is saying and not turn it away because, yes, it's not like the norm. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. So then, so whatsoever assignment God has given is so that you can represent his interest and glorify him in the mandate. Note that there are devils assigned to divine assignments and mandates. So we will not finish this topic without saying that. There are devils assigned to divine assignments and mandates. And they do not care what your name is. So it's beyond you. Even with the devils and the demons, <clears throat> with the principalities and the powers, it's beyond you. It's not so much about you. It's not about your name, who you are, your personality or your status. It's about the mandate you are carrying. It's about the calling that is upon your life. It's about the effect of the thing that God has placed in your heart. That is what they want to destroy. And they will destroy that person in that process. And that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So this fight is about the calling on your life because it's beyond you. The Lord will continue to help us all Amen. and grant us great wisdom, understanding, and the grace to continue to run this way as we experience His multiplier effects in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So it is beyond you. Whatever your assignment, like my wife said, whether it's spiritual, political, in whatever area you have the opportunity to serve, you are not just serving just for me, me, me alone. God placed you there. God positioned you there. And like David understood, his kingship was yes. not just about David and Jesus' family alone. It was about the entire nation of Israel. So, again, ask yourself what God has called you into, the assignments you have, the opportunities you have. How are you using it? Realize that it is not just for you alone. It is because God has the kingdom mandate, Hallelujah. the kingdom purpose. Hallelujah. You are an ambassador for God yes. there. Whatever dominion you have, please know it is beyond you. It is for God and about God and about God and his people. Amen. Amen. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Even as we share this reminder to your precious people that even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that came, was not just for himself. He came to die so that the whole world can be reconciled back unto you, Father, our Creator. So we also take note from that, that every assignment you've given us is about your kingdom, is about your glory. And let each one of us do those assignments, carry out those responsibilities faithfully Amen. to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. This we ask with faith and thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, it's a pleasure that my wife and I have today yes. to come your way to empower you to fulfill your God-given destiny. Amen. Amen.